Hey guys, it is Arika Misha. It is Saturday um, and I just wanted to come and show you guys a quick uh, little, uh, you can dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this recipe, a friend of mine, she sent it to me from Instagram. Um, of course it wasn't hers, but she sent it to me because she knows I love to cook. Um, hey girl, you know who you are, hey girl. Um, and um, when she sent it to me, I saw the person, you know, his recipe. Uh, the guy name was the Josh Elkin. That's T-H-E-J-O-S-H-E-L-K-I-N. The Josh Elkin. Um, so I started following him on Instagram. So just want to make it clear, I did get this recipe from his page. Well, a friend sent it to me, but um, anyway. Just want to let you guys know, the Josh Elkins, this is the Josh Elkin. This is his recipe. Um, I started following him on Instagram. I think he's a great guy, so he cooks a lot of great food. So y'all know me, I love to cook, so. Um, so I decided I would go ahead and try it, and this is called the pepperoni, let me get my paper. I think he called it pepperoni pizza roses. It's like a, a Valentine's Day idea, so. Um, I was like, great. I love it. It looks good to me. When my friend sent it to me, I was like, I love the way it looks. She knows I love to cook. So, all right, guys, let's get into it. All right. The recipe isn't simple. It's simple. Doesn't look complicated. I've got here one Pillsbury pizza crust. I've got some Hormel pepperonis. And I got some Kraft natural mozzarella cheese. And I got some ragu traditional spaghetti sauce pizza sauce spaghetti sauce and i got my parsley of course and parmesan back there now his recipe said oregano but i don't have any oregano and i know the girls probably won't like oregano anyway so all right guys i just wanted to let you guys know what the ingredients are and i've got my muffin pan back there you guys can see got my muffin pan back there so these are all the ingredients uh that you will need for the pepperoni roses all right, guys, I will be back. Okay, guys, I am back. <clears throat> and let me show you. I've already um, sliced my uh, pizza, pizza crust. And you can see I've already sliced it into thin slices. Show you guys. What we're going to do here. All right, so I've got my pizza dough laid down. You take your pizza dough and you cut it into strips. Um, of course, you put flour on both sides so it doesn't stick to your counter. So I've got my dough laid down. You're going to go ahead and put your cheese down. Um, you're going to go ahead and, let me see what it says. Lay down your cheese, then you're going to put in, lay down your sauce, then you put your pepperonis. I had to cut the pepperonis in halves. The recipe calls for you to cut the pepperonis in half. So you cut the pepperonis in half, um, and then I'll lay the pepperonis down, and then I'll roll it up. So you guys will see me do it. Okay. Here we go. Make sure you guys can see. Yep, you can. All right, so I've got my pizza dough laid out. Go ahead and lay down our cheese. Let me get the cheese back out. I put that in the refrigerator. Okay. All right. Cheese open. I've got mozzarella cheese. And of course you guys can substitute this. I mean, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just, you know, he had the um, laid down, he laid down the cheese, like the sliced cheese. Um, but I'm doing the mozzarella shredded cheese. And like I said, make sure you guys go check him out. Looks like a pretty cool guy. I'm following him now on Instagram. So you're going to lay down your cheese. Lay down your cheese like that. And then I'm going to put the sauce. I've got my sauce here. I don't want to over sauce them. So I'll just kind of, you know. There's a sauce here and there like that. All 
That's how I'll do it. Okay, so we got the cheese down, we got the sauce down, and then the pepperoni halves. Goes like this. Just lay your pepperoni halves down like that. Looks like a, a delicious recipe. So I couldn't wait to do it. All right, and you roll it up. No fat there. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Ooh, I can see the roses. I see the roses. Get back in there, pepperoni. Ooh, I see the roses already. Make sure you guys can see. Yep, you sure can. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. I want to make sure you guys see the vision. Uh-oh, not that vision. Okay, now you guys can see as I roll it up. See how when I roll it up, giving you that whole rose effect that is so awesome that is awesome and then you stick it down in your muffin muffin pan like that you stick it down in the muffin pan make sure you guys can see and you sit it down hold up guys let me zoom you out zoom you out See, and you just sit it down in your muffin pan like that. Sit it down in a muffin pan like that, and it, it'll, it'll cook. Look at that. That's going to be really nice. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get the rest of these done, and I'll come back and show you when, when they're all done. Okay, guys, I am back, and I'm finally finished. Three years later, uh, rolling them up takes the longest, just so you know. That takes a long time. So, all right, I got them all completed, and let me kind of zoom out i just want to show you guys what they look like i think they are very pretty they look like little roses show you guys that top view they do they look like little roses i mean some of them ain't that pretty y'all but y'all get the picture most of them came out really pretty like that one they came out really nice so all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes and when I come back, you guys will see the finishing results. All right. Hey, guys, I am back. I have taken them out of the oven. And as you can see, our pepperoni roses are delicious looking. Let me bring them up closer to you guys. They turned out really nice. Really nice, guys. Let me see. Give you some good shots here. Really nice. Really pretty. Little roses. Now, some of them kind of look like tulips, but they roses, guys. They roses. But, yeah. They cute. Yeah, some of them kind of look like tulips and daisies, but they are pepperoni roses, guys. Turned out really nice. I think they are going to be delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much uh, for following my channel. Thank you for your comments. I thank everybody for their love and support. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget guys, knowledge is power. Thanks guys. Bye.